Now, you guys all know me. I'm all up for a good scrap and a battle. I'm all up for the fists out fighting moment. So he will not be able to strike with the feet. I mean, yeah, I guess something like that, but more uh, with a card that goes vroom vroom quick round corners. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, yeah. the Austria yeah. crash thingy my bobbies. That was cool between Lando and Verstappen. It kind of ended in misery, and it kind of did show everybody the kind of person that Lando Norris was, right? If Verstappen doesn't apologize, we can't be friends. He won't go away. He needs to go away. He's the fucking problem. It's not talent or, you know, it's just luck. So, um... Hmm, I see some resemblance. Like, what the fuck are you saying? Genuinely, maybe grow a pair, maybe grow up. I'm, I was so excited for forever, for like the entire year. I've been saying, if you want to see a championship battle in Abu Dhabi, then like and subscribe. Clearly, you guys have not been liking or subscribing because there won't be a championship battle at this point. So... If you want to all fix that, help me get to 10k by the end of the year. Subscribe and like, because I want to hit 13 likes in this video. Like and subscribe. Maybe we'll have a championship battle at the end of the year. So, do that, please. Now, this season was shaping up to be one of the best seasons ever. Like, it literally had everything you've ever wanted in an entire season. Well, up until a couple weeks ago, that is. You had dominance at the start. Max Verstappen wins for Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen to them Red Bull falling off. You had bad teams rising up in performance. You had McLaren peaking. But that didn't last for too long. You had drivers being dropped because of poor performances. You had Carlos Sainz leaving, Carlos Sainz nearly dying at the start of the season. You had Behemoth stepping in. You had driving change like Hello? You're sick? Everything you've ever wanted in a season was literally occurring. There was a championship fight. There was going to be a championship fight. But something that wasn't on my bucket list or my bingo card is like the 70-year-old grandmas would probably say, sitting in a little hall and screaming, Bingo! Bingo! No one's streaming bingo because everybody expected the championship fight to go down to Abu Dhabi, go down to the wire, just like Kanye once said. But clearly, it isn't going to the wire because it's over. A day where Max Verstappen on the track has showed the world just how good he is. A day where Max Verstappen, for the second year running, wins the Sao Paulo Grand Prix and wins it by an absolute distance. Max Verstappen, home to take. Maximum points. Like KSI said, it's oh wait no, that's not it's not over yet. Fuck it. Anyway, you get what I'm ch the joke I'm trying to make. Um, no, no, no. It, it it is over, and it is it's over. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, Lara Norris is in the fucking thick of it for everything because. Everybody else on the grid, I guarantee you, give the McLaren over to Esteban Ocon. Fuck it. Anybody. Genuinely. And the championship is going to the wire. Who knows? Maybe even give the car to Alonso or Hamilton. And they're winning every single race that car has competed in. Who knows? Maybe in that McLaren, in Hamilton's hands or Alonso's hands, it's like the 2023 Verstappen season. Where we hear, not, not the Dutch anthem every race. But the British anthem, because Lewis Hamilton just wins every race in the McLaren. But Lando Norris has fumbled on every single occasion that he possibly had. We, we've talked about what he's done throughout the season so far, right? The, the start, it's been awful. The complaining, the whinging and whining at Hamilton, at Verstappen, at everybody. You know, we've spoke about it many a times before. But I was really excited. I was like somewhat rooting for him saying, go on. I want to see that championship fight in Abu Dhabi. I want to see some, uh, some sparks, so something to, to go down. And maybe it's the Hamilton-Rosberg situation all over again. Friends turn enemies. And honestly, after Brazil, that's probably what has happened. Because being realistic, Lando is kind of just a bitch crying because he can't win a race in the fastest car. He has the help of Piastri. He has the help of the entire team backing him. But the thing is, Lando Norris expects Oscar Piastri to be the Valtteri Bottas of the team. But Lando Norris isn't the Lewis Hamilton of the team. Whereas on the other side, Max Verstappen is doing this thing solo because it's Red Bull and Perez and let's be real. What can they actually do? 
When I say that everything was against Verstappen, everybody wanted Verstappen to lose. Except for me. Everybody wanted Verstappen to lose. Everybody wanted to see the championship go down to the wire. It was it was the same way everybody wanted Verstappen to lose in 2021. The championship go down to the wire. It was all rigged. Let's be real. FIA was against Verstappen. You swore you're done for. Charles Leclerc swears and what? Nothing happens. I went into qualifying. I knew the car was... Thank you, Max. Uh, let's watch our language going forward. Get back. I had one oversteer, and then when I recovered from that oversteer, I had an oversteer from the other side, and then I was like, fuck. But luckily, uh, sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want to join Max. <laughs> Max Verstappen pushed Lando Norris off the track the same way that George Russell or pushed or Piastri pushed somebody else off the track, and they don't get a blah, blah, blah. It was all a bit iffy and offy. It was all a bit rigged. Mexico, he's just trying to do what he's meant to do. Grief Lando, he did a good job, but everybody is against him. Come on. Like, what is your issue? So, Max Frippo, uh, you've been given a 10-second penalty for forcing Lando off track at turn four. So, head down. 10. It's quite impressive. To now Brazil, Verstappen's fueled up, pumped and sad, angry, and he gets knocked out of Q2 because the red flag takes 40 seconds to deploy. Everybody crosses the line and everybody finishes their lap, but not Verstappen, but not Perez. Because it's rigged. It's all against Verstappen. Guarantee you. Well, maybe not. But, like, that's how it kind of felt. You feel what I'm saying? And speaking of how somebody found Verstappen was blah, probably pissed. Starting P17 because he had a five-place grid penalty. No way. He ain't pulling a 2016 Brazil performance. Because Lando Norris is the fastest car and surely he should get a good start and win. From the line, good reaction time for George Russell. The lead for George Russell. The Mercedes man gets by. In the Brazilian rain, the Dutchman has delivered a defining drive. He climbs the hill back to Grand Prix victory. It's not talent or, you know, it's just luck. So, um... Funny you should say that because Lando Norris did not get a good start. He did fumble the bag and he couldn't make any overtakes. Oscar Piastri had to give him the sprint win. Oscar Piastri had to let him by in the race. Oscar Piastri it was so much better that race weekend. But Lando Norris fumbles the bag yet again. And Verstappen pulls off the greatest drive genuinely ever witnessed by any human being's eyes. 17th to 1st in a race where the rain just flooded down from the sky. The heavens opened. If Verstappen can do that, he deserves the championship straight away. Lando Norris can't even win from pole position and Verstappen's winning in the 4th best car starting P17 in a race which is chaotic and everybody's dying and losing. Talk of talk of a champion's drive. That single, that single race just give him the championship. Yes! <laughs> what an unbelievable race, guys! You know what that is? Simply lovely. I tell you that. Brazil was literally the race, Verstappen starting P17, when Lando Norris could have made up all of the points and actually been close to the championship. If he won the race, 26 points, fastest lap. Oh, Verstappen doesn't get into the points. He's swimming and smiling because he's that much closer to the championship, knowing that he is such a good car and Verstappen's car is only falling and failing. But no, 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 no. Lando Norris tried to take the fastest lap away from Verstappen, but he couldn't. He tried to, but he couldn't. Lando Norris, keep in mind, the track is clearing up. It's drying, right? Every lap is getting faster. Verstappen had the nine fastest laps. Lando Norris at the 10th. And... The, the, most of the nine fastest laps came from like lap 60 or something. Whereas Lando Norris's 10th fast, like the 10th fastest lap of the entire race was Lando Norris's fastest lap. And that came from the last lap, which he absolutely pushed flat out. But it was still like a second odd slower than Verstappen, which shows how good Verstappen is. And maybe not how good Lando is. Bro really has the fastest car and is fumbling a championship harder than I could have ever imagined. And to have the audacity to say that it was a lucky race and there's no talent involved in that. Fucking get out of here. If people are calling it the champion's drive, the drive ever, Hamilton's congratulating Verstappen on the pure talent, and so is Alonso. And then you got this bloody clown saying that it was lucky. Any respect I had for this guy, he's gone fucking through the window, and it's just none. Void.
I mean, do you remember at the start of the season when we were all complaining and clowning Alpine because they were the worst car on the grid, 19th and 20th in qualifying in Bahrain? How are they scoring a podium, two podiums now, and Lando can't? Talk of a skill issue. All Max Verstappen needs is two points on Lando Norris in Las Vegas, and he's won the championship. It's that easy, that's free. Lando Norris has had the generational fumble of the entire planet. Fastest car and he can't convert. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, with that said, I don't want to talk about this topic anymore because it hurts my brain to think about it. it. Hurts my brain to give this any more attention. We'll pick this back up after Abu Dhabi and then we'll, well, clown again maybe. So with that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Let's hit 10k. Let's 13 like, blah, blah, blah. Have a safe and fantastic rest of the day. Don't die because then we can't watch other videos. Blah, blah, blah. A poos. That's all, folks.